Hey everybody, this is Miss Nikila. And Mr. Majors. We want to thank you for joining us this week on Speak On It. Where we like to keep it fun, keep it real, and keep, keep it, it aligned with, with the, the word, word of God. God. Uh, I think I already introduced myself. <laughs> I got to get it yeah. together on this Sunday. We've uh, been enjoying the, the buy your liquor on Sunday day. Today. We didn't buy it now. We had it left over from yesterday. <laughs> you got to get out there and buy it. Not because you want something, just because you can. So, <laughs> Just for the hell of it. Exactly. <laughs> so today, um, let me make sure I, I got everything together. All right. I'm take my so notes. we want to update you. I know that's what we're here for. <laughs> <laughs> Help make support. That's what I'm saying. So <laughs> today, uh, so we want to update on the wedding. We'll do a little wedding update. Wedding plan. So we finally put down our um deposit yes. it got real real you know once yes. you start doing this it's you ain't going nowhere you stuck but it, it's, it's for a good cause like yes yeah, for a good cause yeah good cause. <laughs> <laughs> like for charity <laughs> Wow, <laughs> you know what I meant. You, you know I don't reason. spend money for you know. Nah, you know we we go to places. You know how you try to be uh, you try to be professional, or you try to you know not look broke and be poor. So you don't want to ask for money right up front. Ask for uh, ask the price right up front. No, he be like, oh yeah, this is nice. So how much it costs? How much is it? <laughs> don't, no. don't don't be ass around with me. How much is it? You know I try to act like I can really afford it. Like no matter what they say. Hmm. Hey, it, it might be, but I'm asked. We be at McDonald's. He be like, "So how much is that value menu?" <laughs> <laughs> he does not. Uh, he does not wait, but but it is. So we put down our money for Bella Marcia. We are really excited about using that spot. Yep. And um, checked it out again. It still look good. <laughs> it still look good. Still so look good. <laughs> you know how you fall in love with somebody, and then the next morning you look at it like, like, "What the Ooh, hell? Did you so, put makeup on?" Yeah. yeah walk no. up with a human slug. <laughs> But it was still it was still great. So we are excited. We met with the elders. That's what I call them now. Uh, that's my my wedding coordinator and crew, and they are brutal. So how many chairs you got? What you got? What shirt you gonna wear? Mm, you got your shoes? What what earrings you looking? I'm like my god, like they were like brutal. <laughs> but it's gonna be nice though, it will. right? Yeah, they're it will. not gonna let us be raggedy. So and don't come plan for a big meal. <laughs> Just tell me. Oh, you get there. Please. Some, some drink, chips in your drink pocket. Drink some water. Drink <laughs> a lot of water and some potatoes or something. Because we're not feeding y'all that much. No. Not at all. No. So, so we're excited. I'm going toast or the bagel. We're not going to feed y'all toast or the bagel. She wants to do meats. If it was up to him, y'all would get some cheese whiz in a can. No, that's like five ninety nine a can. <laughs> and some rich crackers. Some rich crackers and some slices. Get one spray. One spray. Can you please pass it around your table, that's a please? Spray. <laughs> If he was, if it was up to him, I'm telling y'all, y'all wouldn't have no chairs on the circle. Y'all wouldn't have nothing. Just but, saying. But we excited. So, um, <laughs> yes, <laughs> next steps. So, and then um, let's see. So today's show, we're going to talk about uh, why do people cheat? Yes. It's a good topic. We will make sure you guys join us in. I am going to make sure I share my little link out here for all my peoples. Good. Um, who want to see it? So today's topic again, we are talking about why, why do people, people cheat? cheat? Why do women cheat? Why, why do men, men cheat? cheat? Uh, some of the lies that they tell and excuses that they tell. <laughs> it's, y'all, y'all gotta get it together. I'm at work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. it wasn't me. I got you fully on camera with your face and everything. Yeah, it wasn't waving me. at the camera. <laughs> Hi, ma. I am uh, Mr. Majors, giving all the details, but it, it wasn't you though. Okay, so it wasn't me. So get your comments in. Make sure that you um, let me get it shared out. Get your comments in. Make sure you um, comment and let and tell us all about it. So let's get into it. <laughs> Different types of cheating. Don't be laughing at me because I gotta use your notes. It's been a rough day, y'all. I've been doing hair all day. This shoulder don't even move. I can't even save myself in the event that I'm drowning. Although, why would I be swimming today? Because it's still cold outside, but I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. As an example, I can't even. So, I'm going to work through the pain. So, I can feel like one of those champion people. You know. <laughs> so, different types, of, <laughs> different types of cheating. So, the first one we have is physical. And sex. That's the most obvious one, right? Yeah. Yeah. You think that's the most obvious cheating? Um, I think, you know, physical is the easiest. Yeah. You know, I think you get caught up in the other ones, but being physical is, is just easy. Yeah. Get it, boom, yeah, done. 
on the man's behalf anyway. On the man's behalf. So with women, we're going to get into some of the particulars. I won't get into that just yet. We're just talking about the types of cheating. Okay. Because I'm going to speak for us ladies. This is speak on it, and I'm going to speak up for us. And I'm going to speak for the men. Tell, I'm going to keep it real, because these men, they think they safari, but we really just in the backyard with some weeds. That's for those who know what I'm talking about. You Mm. know what I'm talking about. Mm. Mental, emotional. Mental, emotional. We're going to talk about a little more. You think men cheat for emotional reasons? Some some probably do. I, I wouldn't doubt it. Because their wife don't listen to them and yep. tell them how beautiful they are or pump up their ego. How handsome they are. and Yeah, yeah they yeah, pump that's, their ego stroke. Yeah. So work wives and work husbands. That's another form of, you it, think that's a I, form of cheating? It is. I wouldn't say so much of a form of cheating. Mm-hmm. I think I think it is to a level, to a to an extent. Can I have a work husband? No. Can I have a work wife? What does she does she bring you lunch? She might. I mean, if she if she packs your lunch for you, maybe. Because you don't have to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Help me Lazy. out. <laughs> I, I'll tell you, I have somebody actually was Ty's sister and her husband. They uh-huh. worked at the same place, uh-huh. and they both had a work wife and a work husband. I'm, Obviously, there was no funny business going on because they all sat. Yeah. In, you know, yeah. distance. <laughs> it, 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 it turns. I think it, it can turn serious. So I, I think that's a form. Yeah, you I, think I, so? It's, it's a start. I have messed around with my work wife before. I, I, not I, currently. Joshy, in the past. Oh, are you serious? Yes. Not when I was married. Of course not. But you, was, you, you were a great married guy. <laughs> you were a really great married guy. <laughs> but it happened. It was hard in ATT, let me tell you. <laughs> oh, I bet it was. You remember that. <laughs> it was some marriages that broke up at AT&T. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. You know one. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna call nobody out. He knows one. He knows the good one, too. Uh-huh. He knows them. Good for, uh-huh. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you know. <laughs> That's a, mm, mm. I know, but I don't know, so I don't know. You do. When I tell you, you'll be like, oh, for real? Yeah, you know. Trust me, you know. Oh, no, don't cover your mic. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm curious <laughs> now. <laughs> um, and then another one is cyber cheating. That's a good one. It is. Um, oh, I met on my line playing games. What games are y'all playing online where y'all hooking up at the same time? What's that like, game? The old game, Second Life or something? Yeah. Was was that? Yeah. Oh, okay. And then like some of them like don't don't get me gamers. I promise. Don't don't get me. Like Dungeons and Dragons. That's a game, right? That used to be played online. I don't know if they ever played it online. Maybe. Maybe. League of Legends and stuff. So I mean, my friend, she met her husband that way. Wow. Katrina, remember they met like that online playing games. Yeah, I think. my sister's best friend from high school met her current husband gaming. Really? It happens, and she moved out to Oregon. Dang. Dang. That was a good game. <laughs> that, was a, that was a good so, game. So, all my single ladies, I'm just saying, pick up a game online. My Minecraft. I don't know what you play with to interact with people. I guess you have, like, chat rooms. Call of Duty. Call of Duty. No, oh, yeah. Saying. Maybe. You I'm, could. I'm, I'm, yeah, you could. Mm-hmm. Your Call of Duty is now disconnected. He will not be playing <laughs> online ever again. <laughs> like I got time to. I know, right? Oh, oh it's in my bosoms. Sorry. Yes, I get it. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm, I do. I'm a mover. Sorry, guys. I'm going to leave that alone. <laughs> but uh, anyway. How's that better? Is that better? Until you move again. <laughs> Producer J. Cole is going to get me. So I'm going to just sit like this. Uh, why don't you zip that up a little bit? You want to zip it up some? Yeah. You oh, my God. Sure not a good one. Sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, for real? Yeah, I go over there. Is, is it bosoms and stuff over there? I know really? I didn't people. Oh, yeah. That's I didn't. why Mr. Majors was stuck over there. He no, was, I didn't. All I could see it was a screen. Ah, okay. Dang. No question for you guys on the different types of cheating. Mm-hmm. Which is worse, mental or physical? Physical. I, hey, wait a minute. Let me yeah, take that back. Think about it. Mental. I say mental is is because because mental. <laughs> even though you were with your spouse, that mental state. Is with somebody else. You don't have fully have their yeah. mind. You know, you gotta have a once mind. Once you grab to, a woman's mind, well, women. I think once you grab a woman's mind, it's done. Yeah. I, for me, I would say mental because, like, I have physical encounters that I could walk away from. Yeah. And never go back. Mm-hmm. But 
it's harder to come back from a mental connection. Right. Oh, yeah. You can't just walk away from that easily. You're right. So no. Agree. But for a man <laughs> to have to think about a physical change <laughs> is that, that is the worst. Yeah, that, if y'all just have to think about it. <laughs> And then it plays because over in your mind, the, over and over again. All the positions. <laughs> and then some. It could have been the most garbage garbage sexual encounter, but in your mind, it was like shade, 50 Shades of Grey. I don't know about 50 Shades of Grey. <laughs> Just an encounter like like no oh, other. I should show you like, things oh. you've never seen. <laughs> That's probably how men. We wish it was like that physical. Sometimes we cheat and it's physical. We be like, I'll be daggone. I could have had a V8 and Bob. Bob, is that what we still do? We still call him that Bob? Who's Bob? Batty operated boyfriend. Oh. Yeah. I guess. If, I don't know if y'all do or not. I mean, it's moving on. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about some of the reasons why, why women cheat. Um, so we're going to kind of break these up into like a lack of. So for women, first first on the list is lack of attention. I think a, women, a lot of women cheat because of lack of attention. Mm -hmm. You think so? I think there's something that's missing. So, yeah, it all comes down to lack of attention. Because we need that. We need, a, you know, you always see the, the lonely housewife. Like, But I think one thing women have to understand, too, is so you can't have it both ways and although it looks like everybody's becoming million millionaires out for youtube sitting at home making videos all day that's not really how it works you mm -hmm. know so if you want this big lavish lifestyle you want your you want to be a, a maid a, a kept woman stay at home you know Get your home. husband out there working he has to work you know what i'm saying you can't have it both ways you can't have a multi-millionaire um, entrepreneur husband who's at home with you 24-7. Right. It just don't work like that. And we and we think it does. We think it should be like a, a automated experience. You know what I'm saying? He just magically wakes up every day and it's an extra million dollars in the bank. Some probably do. But they have to work long hours. You know what I'm saying? And and, and that's just what happens. Mm -hmm. You know, so, so you either get the good money or or the attention all day long. Right. Like with Ray Ray on the couch, eating, eating up your chips and drinking your Kool Aid, he give you plenty of attention. <laughs> you have with a no paycheck. Oh, okay. Yeah, with no paycheck. Stretched out socks. <laughs> you broke, but he always in your face, girl. <laughs> Dirty ass tank top. <laughs> Spaghetti stains on it. <laughs> Smelling like lost hopes and dreams. Yeah, and they had to shower in three days. Some Ray Rays uh, are gonna come to this. <laughs> Next one, we keep Ray Ray around for. I don't, I don't want to use Ray Ray because I feel like poor Ray, like his poor name is, uh, he always jumping in Revolution. <laughs> we, we're going to use uh, Pookie. How about that? We're going to use Pookie for this next one. <laughs> Some girls talk to guys name. We don't talk to guys name Pookie anymore. Some do. Steve. You can say Anthony. Anthony. <laughs> 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 so the next one is Anthony be faithful with them bodybuilders he like to the UFC <laughs> fighters cause he be, he be scared <laughs> cause he scared what happened to you Anthony? <laughs> nothing I told somebody she was pretty <laughs> so one of the next ones for women is um sexual fulfillment mm -hmm. so let's talk about it let me stop chewing my gun somewhat but let's talk about it Okay. Go ahead. I was going to ask, with, with women cheating to sexual fulfillment, mm -hmm. men think 90%, a high percentage, I ain't going to throw percentages out there, but a high percentage of women can't cheat without their heart being in it. No, we can, we can do some stuff without our heart in it. Really? With some, yes, given certain situations, uh, we can, I think every woman has a sexual savage inside of her. It's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to get that, and then I'm not going to call him tomorrow. And then we cool, you know what I'm saying? Cause, but it's purely sexual. Mm -hmm. and, excuse me, and it, means, it matters on how many times we may go back and forth with him. After a while, going back and forth, then it might be like, okay, now I'm getting a little caught up in my heart with it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because then you want more because we, we always want more. <laughs> so... Hmm. So as a man, and for the men in the room, I am all by myself, ladies, unless you are online, chime in. As men, do you feel like women cheat more because 
why do you feel like women cheat sexually? What do you think it is? Do you think it's because he captured her mental and brought her in, or do you think that women are really sexually unsatisfied? I think it's more mental. You think so? I think um, they're not getting everything they want at home. See, some men just don't don't know how to play the gentleman, the savage, mm -hmm. the I'm a, and don't take this literally. I'm gonna beat you over your head and pull you pull your hair and pull you down a uh, hallway. Stop talking dirty to me. I'm just saying. <laughs> Excuse, just cut, cut, <laughs> cut, <laughs> cut. <laughs> but <laughs> I mean, I think. I'm just kidding, like Jason. <laughs> 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 you gonna do it? <laughs> both both men and women need to have them different personalities mm -hmm. to satisfy because you you have to everybody wants to just come in a room and just get get right get yeah. get, get to it get you handled. know it ain't always making love and everything sensual it's just come here give it here i want to talk about some some statistics and i think that they are very interesting and they are not new so and i and, and i'd be willing to say if we talk to a lot of our grandmas mm -hmm. and older women that they could probably justify this as well but it breaks down that 62% of women always orgasm. Well, let me go back. 62% of women said that they were unsatisfied, I believe it was, sexually by their husbands. So more than half the women married are unsatisfied sexually. That means that we, we're not enjoying it. We're not enjoying it. We feel like Miss Seeley, off the color purple, get on top of me and do his business. And then that's it. <laughs> <laughs> on top of me. It wasn't even, it wasn't even worse than death, though. <laughs> it wasn't even nothing to die for. Wow. So, but then it, it says that 62% of women, this is from healthywomen.org, 62% of women always orgasm during masturbation. Is it the same 62% of the women who are unhappy sexually? It <laughs> probably ever? is. I think there might be a little correlation. But you can always, I mean, I think a person can always touch themselves better than somebody else can. Cause they can they can translate that hand eye coordination. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's <laughs> there is a no from Do the I gallery. Do I got an agreement? <laughs> I agree, I agree with thank you, thank you. Met a woman or three. <laughs> well, I'm I'm saying most people. Uh -huh. Some, average. yeah. On women, I think it's women. We we definitely know. Cause you know what I'm saying. Cause I've been touched sometimes, and it will just like, I'll be like stop. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just stop. Talking about I'm tapping. I'm tapping. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's not always good to be touched by somebody else. <laughs> and, and as women, we can we can do it better and faster. Cause we can, not faster. Sometimes we don't want it faster, but we can we can do it better. Sometimes we can, cause we mm -hmm. know exactly where to head. For men. Hmm, I don't know if I want to make the comment. Maybe for men, that there's just one quick way to stimulate and satisfy and get it done. Mm -hmm. But for us, I mean, there's a couple of different things. And the things that y'all think we like, most of the time we really don't like it. See, but that's where... This, okay. We're going to have a sex show one day. That, that, that's, that's where, we'll that's where your, your, your partner is supposed to pay attention to how your reactions is. No, but, and a lot of men don't pay attention. Yeah, because no, they, they, they just trying good. to... Done. <laughs> we're not happy, man, and, and, and we're making fizz. ourselves happy. What do you say? Don't get and I'm just saying. Sometimes, mm -hmm. you know, the second one is 34 percent of women always orgasm during oral sex. What are y'all doing out there? How many? That's not a you said 32. 34 percent of women always orgasm during oral sex. So that means that the rest of y'all jokers, y'all missing the mark. We're gonna have a study show. In July, July we'll have a sex show. Yeah, how about that? <laughs> We're bringing experts and bananas and pineapples and peaches. Yes. Yeah. You know, sometimes we're just like Let's August. Just do something we'll different. A, August we'll have a, have the show. August. Yeah. Okay. Because we'll be gone after the twenty third. Yeah. The twenty third of, of July. That's what I said. And that's, we'll be back in June, July. I mean, July. Okay. I said June. July. I'm thinking June, July. My bad. Keep it aligned with the word of God. All right. 27% of women always orgasm during intercourse when the, pen, when the penis. <laughs> I can't even say it. When the penis enters the vagina. 
27 percent of women always orgasm during intercourse when a penis enters the vagina so that's that's even <laughs> that's even lower 27 percent. so that's a lot of us walking around like <sighs> just frustrated <laughs> yeah hun that was great i'm gonna just go make some spaghetti because when y'all wonder why we cheating moving on i'm not cheating 26 percent of women. the hell better not be <laughs> <laughs> somebody gonna Bless be in you. trouble damn right <laughs> <laughs> No, they're all happy faces around this room right now. So everybody's good so far. Twenty six percent of women always orgasm during genital touching. It's cause I don't know where y'all headed. Right here? Right here? How about over here? Let me try right here. So that's my knee, right here. That's not even genital. Yeah, if your knee is up there, that's not even genital. So my genital area, sir. So you know they they say um might vibrators. need to lose some weight around there and you can't find <laughs> You can't find it. Oh my God! Flower, please. <laughs> Flower. And there was a there's a little, another study that I, I read. Um, I'm not even gonna look it up, but just talking about paternity, how um, it was a little <laughs> town in like the Brit in Britain where like half of the kids did a third of the kids didn't belong to the father. You know what I'm saying? Because they out messing around, and it's a lot of it because women are sexually unsatisfied. And we'll talk about men, you know, the men being sexually unsatisfied in a way. A lot of time, men think women don't want sex enough. Okay, no, I'm gonna get you. Okay, yeah. So, so women, I think a lot of men feel like women don't want sex as often as they do. But sometimes the problem is, why bother? If only had it ain't even half of the time I'm about to have you know an orgasm. But if I invite Ray Ray over and he come over and I do have to feed him and he is gonna drink up out my Kool Aid, but he's about to lay me out and then you know what I'm saying. So that's I think that's why a lot of women cheat. And I think if sex was better. You know, and it's not always the case. I'm not saying this is absolute. Mm -hmm. If it was better, maybe, or, you know, it's other reasons why women cheat. You know, you got money or they dealing with kids or dealing with husbands and stuff like that. But, you know, from a sexual standpoint, mm -hmm. I think a lot of women cheat because we just flat out unsatisfied. Speak up, ladies. Same with the men. I, I, we ain't to your spot yet. I have a question yes. about the, um, this why town. Why behind the light? <laughs> I mean, I'm, on the I'm on the microphone oh, oh, so, okay. so they can hear me. So in this town, if that many people have um, kids by somebody else, uh -huh. don't that mean that basically you're cheating with a man who can't satisfy his wife? <laughs> Ain't nobody. <laughs> some ass, yep. The milkman is walking around town like, do 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 do. He ain't delivering milk. <laughs> He's dropping He's off more milk than milk. <laughs> Let's move on before that goes down here real fast. <laughs> What's the next one? It, it don't do it. It's no, not at all. Um, emotional connection. A lot of women do feel that emotional connection. We want you to. We want to. Uh, we want to feel loved. You know what I'm saying? So if the husband and, and emotional and attention go hand in hand, I think mm -hmm. if he's not paying her any attention, he's not giving her an emotional need. We need to hear. Oh, it's okay. Oh. Baby, I got you. Oh, you know, we want to rent and rave and we want to do stuff like that. We just want y'all to listen. You know what I mean? And so then we get, you know, some guy, random guy, some guy at work or some guy online, cyber cheating or something, and he wants to hear everything. And that's why it's not okay for opposite sex friends sometimes. You don't think so? Oh, yeah, because it's always a shoulder to cry on. It's always. And that's what they do to sit in there waiting on. I can't wait till he mess up. <laughs> I can't wait. And I'm going to be like, hey, you okay? That's all it takes. Well, yeah. Yep. I think so, too. And then, um, an educational connection. I said educational or a mental connection, and, and I think educational kind of go hand in hand. Sometimes women get with men that, you know, may not mentally stimulate them. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they can't have a good conversation. They can't talk about, um, oh, excuse me, they can't talk about, um, you know, they, they just can't talk about different types of world issues or, you know, politics or, you know, they just want to have these adult conversations and they're not able to have them with the men because education, why, what? No, no, excuse me for a second. Change the subject. Did y'all see the commercial about the Trump bear, the Trumpy bear? Oh, my God. I'm sorry. Where did that come okay, from? Because he was talking about politics. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, that was so random. <laughs> Trumpy uh, it, bear. Oh, it was bad. 
<laughs> the men in the room followed. I'm like, uh, come pick me up on the way back because <laughs> I'm lost. I mean, I'm just you seen the commercial, yeah, Trumpy was, Bear with the hair bad. and the eyelids. We passing those out as wedding favors. No, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know, so right. <laughs> I ain't supporting that crap. <laughs> no, we gonna burn them. Buy them and burn them. No, I ain't even buying them. Stuff. No, we can't do that. But uh, but that's so that's my that's my spiel on the educational um, connection and mental connection is that you know we just not getting that mentally stimulated. Some men get women and then leave them on the shelf. Mm-hmm. You just there for a trophy, and then you, and that's how I feel like you can see the woman cheating with the the pool boy, or she got a lawyer husband and then she's cheating with. You know, Steve down at the Starbucks because he, you know, he talks, he has conversations with her, he stimulates her and stuff like that. I was gonna say a beeb at Seven Eleven. Was What's that racist? Sorry. <laughs> Hit his inbox up. Don't inbox me. Hit his inbox up. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, okay, never mind. Let me hush. The double standard. So let's talk about. Then I'm really interested in the men in the room. Why are men less forgiving when the women cheat? And it made me think of a song, which is totally opposite of how y'all feel. It's a, I can't remember who sings it. Maybe I deserve. Remember, he was like, he treated her bad. Maybe I deserve. Uh, it's old school. For, Wasn't it by Jeremiah? Uh-uh, no, this is older than him. Uh, this is like a Vine type deal. who's in the 20s should be answering this question. Yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is not you a question for you. Young, Tank. Youngster. Tank. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Tank. Uh, maybe I deserve. Uh, you know, basically saying... He been treating her bad. He been doing all of this stuff. So maybe he deserved the fact that she went out and cheated on him. Yeah, just ain't that easy. Y'all don't feel like that. It's not because that that's home. Mm-hmm. That's that that's home. I mean, and what I went back to ask you earlier, you know, to go back to ask you what I early asked you earlier about the emotion. That's what men think. You know, you have emotional connection. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, men are like animals in the jungle, gorillas and lions. We can have. 10 lionesses but one step out we're gonna kill her i mean i'm just saying <laughs> get out i mean that that's less like it like it is you know what is it about y'all what is it about about men that make y'all feel like y'all can go out and do that i mean what what is it is it an ego thing is it now you got images of her cheat how can you can you recover from a woman cheating Men? i don't know Any of them? i don't know mm-hmm. i mean i really don't know it I think it is really hard to recover. Yeah. Side both sides. Because you, you have that trust in in that person. Mm-hmm. And you know, today's society you don't know what you got. Oh, some yeah. Haka Luka both want something. Badly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 'cause I mean men are more visual, so I don't know if men would be like just picturing I I don't know. <laughs> I couldn't tell you. Yeah. Yeah, there comes a point where you just stop believing yeah. what they say. Mm-hmm. What's some, some of the excuses you think women tell when they're going out to cheat? Where are we headed? Going out with the girls? I could give you a long <laughs> <day>. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I, I, I got to go to to get my hair done. Yep. <laughs> and then you come back, your hair's still a mess. <laughs> hair, nails. Going to the store. Hanging out with my girls. The women yeah, lose I, work. I, as an excuse, yeah. I, I oh, wouldn't I doubt it. If they got an office job, yeah. Yeah, because because they, they're the secretary. Don't trust your woman if she's a secretary and she got to stay late. Or if she own her own business and can stay there. Oh. <laughs> Just saying, that's Interesting. A, that's, a good, <laughs> that's a good excuse. What? I, I'm missing some here. Yeah. That's okay. We'll catch up in the car. Okay. How about that? Okay. <laughs> So well, let me park that down. AT and T, and then <laughs> producer jokes. To remember, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I, I don't think I've ever. Um, I don't think I've ever cheated like that. Have I ever cheated like that? Mm, I used to be a savage back in the day. Mm. The thing is, it's hard to see it because when you're cheating like that, you're justifying it, so you don't see it as no. Because we're like, well, well, I'm doing it because because he never pays me any attention or whatever yeah. the case may be. Yeah. So, so I think that's so. I think that's so why women cheat. And I hope that you, oh guys, make sure you guys are sharing, share the link, join in on the conversation, so we can hear what you got to say. And don't be scared to tell them about y'all being sexually unfulfilled. 
Y'all get y'all one of them dolls because we going to get us one. Mm-hmm. We going to get what? We're going to have the safari doll out for Christmas. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Who getting what? What? I said... I said, don't be scared to speak up about being sexually unfulfilled. Mm-hmm. And I said, me and y'all got y'all dolls. You know, oh. the sex, I said, we're going to have one. I said, they're going to make a safari doll. Oh, okay. Yeah, you remember that picture I told you about? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's Wakanda. <laughs> All right. I don't want no doll. She would at least be quiet, though. She ain't going to cook you nothing to eat, though. <laughs> <laughs> Make it a lamp and put it in the corner, put a blanket over it. How do you clean it? I'm sure they have ways. Oh, yeah, you can get a cleaner. Instructions, but where do you keep it? You got to have space. You do. And you have to be willing to, like, I would need a hidden compartment in my closet that's within another closet behind the wall. So nobody even accidentally comes across it. Yeah, you know, for girls, like we'll say, you know, I used to tell my friend, uh, Nikki, I would say, now there's a purple box in the closet. If I die, don't call 911 yet. Get the box out of the closet. Take the box to a secure location. Then call 911. <laughs> wow. Don't ever let this context of this box get out. <laughs> now it's just a bag. So <laughs> make sure if anyone finds me. Somebody grab my bag and take it Where's off. Where's this bag at? Somewhere else. You know where the bag is. <laughs> I don't have a bag. I'm just joking. Wow. On to the next topic. I'm going to be looking for bags now. <laughs> and go at the crib and open every bag. <laughs> Why do men cheat? We can be here all day. Yeah. Sadly, we don't have that much time. So I, the sex, is that wrap it up? Yeah. Is that the- <laughs> <laughs> But I'm I'm gonna take it a little deeper now. Earlier we talked about him uh, was mental. Mm-hmm. There that could be one of them. You know, sex is another one. It's easy. Mental. You know. So you think so? So let's 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 stay with the list. So attention. Do men cheat for attention reasons? I think some do. And is that more of ego stroking attention? Oh, you're so awesome. Oh, you're so great. That's that's how that's how the side chicks get them. Oh yeah. That's how the yeah. side chick get them. It's so a, there's a special class in school. You know when they break the boys and girls up into those health development classes. Secretly they're telling us how to stroke your ego. Is that what happened <laughs> in the sixth grade? In the sixth grade. <laughs> I got you. And that's what I'm asking. Is I that know, what? Oh yeah. Stro- we had classes. Oh okay. Mm-hmm. Hmm. All right. Hmm. So attention, yes. Sexual fulfillment, our men cheat. Definitely. So, so for women, we're un, we're unsatisfied. We've talked about the numbers. Mm-hmm. It's sad. So, what do you feel like? You feel like as men are being unsatisfied or is not frequent enough? What's the case? It can be sex? all of them. Well, it I'm gonna say not frequent enough, mm-hmm. more than satisfied, because a man is gonna he's a man gets he, he well, he's they gonna don't get, always just get there right, you know? but he's gonna get his. In some shape or form. So frequency, I think that's more bigger than. Yes. That's frequency is. Yeah. The, but but so now can, so now after we've heard the statistics for the ladies, and sixty two percent of the women are unsick or unsatisfied sexually, can we kind of maybe tie that to the point of maybe that's why they don't want to do it so often? Because I can take because sixty two percent of us are taking care of it on our own anyway, so <laughs> I don't really have to fool with you like that you know what i'm saying do you mm-hmm. think do you think that this we have broke we have broke the secret code on why men are not getting it enough maybe what do y'all think I out mean, there in, in land that's real. yeah it, it, that's get, real. it gotta like be a lot. if you're not satisfying her she don't want to do it yeah. she just don't want to do it so so maybe we can come together with communication maybe that can be a we can hold a seminar not that kind of a seminar, not a freaky seminar, but talk about it. Encourage couples to talk about the fact that I don't want to give you none because you garbage. Let's talk about, well, maybe it ain't even a garbage. Maybe you can have a burger every day and sometimes you just want a slice of pizza. Good point. That's, that is another topic of this discussion, but yes. So you just want a little variety? <laughs> Hence the side chick. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, and I think that women might be the same way too. Could I'm be. Real. 
there is nothing you can say for one that you can't say for the other. I don't think you can. Yeah, because yeah. it goes both ways. And that's that's what we talked are about just at home. Now finding this out. Yeah, because y'all thought we were just cheating for years. emotional reasons. In the last ten years, guys are just now finding this out that it's really the same. Yeah. Like it's oh. very weird. Hmm. Yeah, I, I think so too. I, I think that me and I for so long thought we were cheating for emotional reasons. Oh, she just because I didn't pay her enough attention. No, bruh. We was people believe in movies. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but uh, <laughs> we and, and you know you know and we read romance novels and we have this expectation, you know sexually I think women enjoy sex I think we really do and we have an expectation of this great mind blowing sex every time it seems you know and that's not reality that's not the way it always goes and I feel like a lot of women who grow up with those fairy tale reading a lot of those Harlequin novels and mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying he sweeps in on a horse and he kisses her passionately so you don't get that all the time so now i'm unsatisfied or men don't know women's bodies as well we didn't know our bodies as well and i bet if you did a survey of you know older women a lot of them don't even know how to have an orgasm Mm -hmm. you know i'm saying they don't even know where it comes from or or what to do with it so they just did it to their husband and had a baby and they was knocked up all the time you know what i'm saying so for them you just didn't even so that's that's pretty interesting. Maybe we've we've cracked the code here. Um, Maybe speak it, on it. Yeah, hmm. men if they if they put it forth a little bit more effort to make it a little more satisfying, maybe she'll break you off a little more often. Maybe she'll put on her Beyonce hair. Maybe she'll put on her short hair. Maybe she'll put on a little red something. Some high well, heels. I, I I I think meet you at a bar. See, see in the back alley. Get your number. Is it? Is meet you at a park. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying, like, if you, you blow a woman's mind, she'd be ready. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We'd we be ready. We'd be having our ideas in our mind after marriage, what we're going to do. You should hear the conversations. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, we won't go any further. Yeah, please. Yeah, we're we going to have to clear talking. the room in a minute. <laughs> This blue couch ain't ready. Mental, let's see, <laughs> mental connection, <laughs> educational connection. Do men feel like feel like a, when they date? Well, we kind of talked about it a little bit. Men don't mind whether a woman makes the same money as him, or mm-hmm. and we talk that was still that's still true, right? Men yeah, don't really care definitely. about that. So do they have to have these long, meaningful conversations? I think there's a rare set of men who want to be emotionally satisfied. It, it probably, or, I is. mean, intellectually satisfied. Like, what's it called? A um, Sapiosexual. Sapiosexual. That is somebody. Uh, I just learned a Somebody word. who uh, like mentally sim- Sapiosexual? Have to mentally simulate them, yeah, right? The thing. It is. Hmm. And they mostly need what they'll do. Uh, me- mentally stimulating conversations. Um, am I saying it right? Mm. I'm not, I kind of know what it is. I know what it is. I can't. I'm not saying it right. I thought I did. <laughs> But uh, now I gotta look it up. There it is, right there. So the definition, as defined by the Urban Dictionary, because that's what we go by. A sapiosexual is a person who um, is someone who finds into intelligence. I can read it like I'm, I so don't fit in this category right now. <laughs> a person who is someone. It says sapiosexual person. That's why I'm getting caught up. Person is someone who finds intelligence and the human mind to be the most sexually attractive feature in the opposite sex. The origin of hmm. the word comes from the word sapiens, which means wise or judicious, and the word sexual. And we know what that word means. So it's a person who is turned on by mental stimulation. Like sometimes you can, you, and, and I think that too, you know, we, people, couples may miss out on that. You know, it's uh, that crockpot theory. Call me early. Boy, you better quit talking Latin to me. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Or you better quit reading me CNN. Or, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, in the day's you know, news. On, yeah. <laughs> you know, I read on CNN today that the stock market is dropping. Boy, you better you better hurry up and get home. <laughs> Put Fox 59 on in the background or something. <laughs> wow. That's, wow. That's, that's weird. That's, I, we, don't, we don't do stuff like that. That's weird. <laughs> So, the theory of men, once a dog, always a dog. Is no. that something that is true? No. He just have to be satisfied. The right one is satisfying. So a man In all is, aspects. I, I don't even think it's that. I just think it's mental maturity. Like yeah. A lot of guys just G- grow out of it. More time. Some of them, some men grow out of it. So, you know, because. It ain't like, oh, she's the 
one that finally, no, she just, her timing was good. Yeah. <laughs> That's not what we tell ourselves maybe she in put our on minds. That be- <laughs> maybe she put on that Beyonce hair without, without be- in the yeah, or in the park. It's weird some of the fantasies us women would have too, though. I mean, like you know, we would be down for some stuff. If I didn't think I would get arrested for most things, <laughs> let's we, get arrested. We would Hell be open to that. We're too old to be getting arrested, and then now we have the show, so it'd be like you know, Nikki and Stacy gonna speak on it. Right. <laughs> That's our street. That's our street credit. That's our street cred. Maybe that's what we're missing. Some street cred. <laughs> Maybe that's what we need to put in. So, do you guys feel like a, a player can change? Yeah, definitely. If they want to. If he wants to. I don't think women could be the same. I mean, some women are just always gonna be dogs too. Mm-hmm. Some men are always gonna be dogs. Yeah, and but then, not all the time. Not always. It's not. It's just not written in concrete like that. What are some excuses men tell when they don't cheat? Uh, going out with the fellas. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's that's probably the biggest one. And work. And work. And I had no daggone money. My ex, y'all know I didn't mention him several times. Yes, you know yes, me, y'all already know. know. He's he's. But it's too sad that he fits the criteria. Why? Because he was horrible. He he like lied because the sun was shining. No. But <laughs> he wasn't even cute. But he was running a lot of women, and so I I just never understood. Him. He's like, oh, I gotta work, and I'd be like, hey yo, I need some money for something. Uh, let me go work. <laughs> I can get some more money. Somebody out there was paying my light bill. <laughs> One of y'all chicks was paying my light bill. I'm pretty sure of it. Thank you. I owe you a pedicure and a nice lunch. But no, <laughs> she don't. <laughs> not this. Not this go around. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. Somebody was keeping my bills paid. I don't know who it was, but I appreciate your hospitality. So. But some of the excuses would be like, oh, I got to work late, you know, stuff like that. How, so how can you tell when you have a cheater? How the, can you tell that a, a man is cheating? For the ladies who are watching, what are some what are some uh, cues? <laughs> that, the men in the you background see the are like, right? the men in the background are like, uh-uh, don't, don't, don't do it, bro. Is correct, sir. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then, well, how, how can a man know that his woman is cheating? What are some of the signs that you would say your woman is cheating? I had the greatest advice by someone that you know, a one Cleo Miller. Oh, I love Cleo. Hey, Cleo. Who said to me, if you think she is, she probably is. You think so? You got to go with the instinct. Instinct, yeah. Not with your, and, and make sure you, you separate your instinct with if you're just a jealous person. Right. And you think everything, you yeah. know what I mean? If, go with your instinct. If you can separate that, you're going to catch it. So I, I, I watch a lot of, you know, Jerry. I have not because I've been on jury duty for the whole week. So I've missed my Jerry Springer and my research. But a lot of those men uh, are are paranoid, really paranoid. Oh, she's cheating. You know, sometimes she, she walked, one guy was so relentless. He was like, she walks down this side of the street and I watch her as she's walking to work every day. Mind you, he ain't walking with her, but that's neither here nor there. She's walking down this side. And then the other day she walked down this side of the street. So I know she's cheating. And I'm like, that's just, what, you <laughs> know, what the heck? <laughs> one, one of my things, yeah, probably not. One, one of my things is, is to look where you normally don't look. If it's, if it's not, not just cheating, just period. If you want to see something, Look at people when they're not looking at you almost. Mm-hmm. So, like, <laughs> pay attention when they're not paying attention. Kind of, sort of. Yeah, because I told my daughters once when they were younger, I was like, as soon as you turn your back, I'm always doing something to you. Mm-hmm. But then Tiana caught on, mm-hmm. and when she would normally look around, she would just kind of look back at me and catch me doing something. Mm-hmm. So, that's kind of how, how it is. Because, you know, a cheater is going to know your routine. Yeah. You know, I go to work at seven, get home at four. During that, it's free time. Yeah. You know, pop up at eight o'clock, see what's going on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I think so, this is why you be coming home, popping up in the middle of the day. Nah. Hey, boom, I'm home. What's for lunch? And I'll be like, oh, hell, I ain't done nothing. No, nah, I mean, <laughs> if, if I come home and, <laughs> and something's going, you know, it's I not just, never. it's not because of that reason, but. Nah, I know. You know, but I know I <laughs> know with you. No. <laughs> I'm just joking, people. There's no, there's no thoughts or anything like that. What else can a man know when a girl is cheating? Uh, just, got time just gotta pay attention, cause, cause y'all some sneaky vermin. 
you know, so just got to change. Do you think that women change sexually when they're cheating with somebody? Yeah, Even definitely. Everybody, both sides do. do. I read, so in the article that I read, what I, which I thought was interesting, is that a lot of the women who are cheating, um, a lot of women who are cheating with somebody, like especially like cyber cheating or emotional cheating or that husband, you know, that work husband or something, they find themselves more attracted to their husbands. They, they like go home and just ravage their husband. Now, I think that's the reason because they're not physically cheating. They already meant the other person mentally turned them on. So now they because, you know, they probably sexting and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. now they are visualizing being with that other person. Their mind is with that other person, but their body is with the husband. With the husband. So she just come home. She just like every day she breaking you off. I don't know. You might have to. You think so? I mean, or you think she just could be like, OK, now he figured it out. He actually figured out where he's supposed to go. And so now, <laughs> now I don't mind doing it as much. Is that, I mean, is that a hard factor to say whether if a woman's sexual behavior has changed? I think I can word that differently. I think so. You think so? I think so. I think some of the ways to tell if men are cheating is if. <laughs> Give the the weight test. If it's heavier, if it's light. Uh, according that. to the women on Jerry, that's yeah. what they do. They like. You know, I don't. I still don't get that one. I don't understand that when they smelling body cavities and stuff. You know, he smell like sex. Well, what does that smell like? Does he smell stinky? Cause that's just, you just got a stinky man. Like one man, you know, she was like, his breath smells like sex. Is what she said. So then he passed a lie detector test with flying colors. And now you didn't tell all of America <laughs> you got a funky breath husband. <laughs> and it's probably her. <laughs> <laughs> he got an abscess tooth in the back. Right. <laughs> he got, got, got a broke tooth. <laughs> and she all in it. And you all in his mouth. And now you done told all of America your husband stink. Mm -hmm. he, he come home and he stink. He smell like fish. And then he's not cheating. So now he's just smelling like now He's just a, a piece of perch walking around. <laughs> I think a lot of excuses, too. I think a change in a man's pattern could tell a woman if he's cheating as well. Mm -hmm. It can. You know, um, manscaping. You clean the stuff you ain't normally clean. Not necessarily. Manscaping, no. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, you can't say manscaping. Going out in Cologne and, and when he normally don't, you know, that's usually some of the habits that we have. You know, we'd be raggedy and then we just turn around and, and now all of a sudden we just always Beyonce when we walk out the door. <laughs> <laughs> Might be something going on. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, so we are going to come to our last segment. One of our favorite segments. I like it. I don't know if he does, but I like it. It don't matter if I do. She like it. <laughs> it's called Stacey and Nikki Loves. This mm -hmm. is where we give our little tidbit of information. A little tidbit. Our little love tidbit. So, Mr. Majors, what is your love tidbit for oh, today? Oh, man. Put me on the spot. Every week. Uh, you look nice, though. <laughs> thank you. Mm -hmm. You do, too. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You smell good, too. You do, too. Anyway, get on with the <laughs> 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 I'm gonna say, uh, men, don't be afraid to show your woman some love. Mm -hmm. You know, compliment her, take her out, hold her hand, give her some, some love and some hug and some kissing. You know, yeah. and uh, treat her good. Open the door every once in a while for her. Pump the gas. Yeah, that's standard. Like, <laughs> so just, pump the gas. I'm just standard. saying. Yeah, it is. It is. So if you don't do it, you should start doing it. Yes. I'm all in your tidbit, huh? All in it. <laughs> Next week, I want a close-up. <laughs> so, so I can't be in so your you can be in the <laughs> <laughs> My tidbit would be, let's talk about it. I mean, y'all got to talk. If 62% of the women are unsatisfied, and then those 62% of the women are satisfying themselves, and then most men feel like they're not getting sex, that means it's and it's a conversation to be had. Learn how to talk about it first, because yeah, just right. don't just don't be like I'm not coming, because he's gonna be like, Phew. yeah. So do you have to find a safe space and a safe time to? Could talk I say about that? It? I, well, you've said it already, just so it's sure. it's too late. There's no edit button on this one. This is just live rolling. Wow. It's live rolling. <laughs> so I would say have a conversation about it, ladies. Don't be scared to say that you're not satisfied. Tell them what you want. Tell them where it's at. Tell them what you need, and uh, help lead and guide them in the direction that they should go. Men, just touch everything. <laughs> just, Don't touch everything. Just, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, right, just. That's the problem. Y'all just 
poking buttons everywhere. Well, Stop poking buttons. Me and her like this, not like this. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, talk about it. <laughs> not like we have Speak just on now. It. <laughs> and I think that's it. I don't know what we're going to talk about next week. We'll see what happens. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> I am Miss Nikita. <laughs> no, Mr. Major. want to thank you for joining us this week on Speak On It, where we like to keep it fun, keep it real, and keep it aligned with the Word of God. <laughs> we'll see you next week. Peace. Peace.